and we will now go on with the EK clamp which is also installed in the FGS systems and I also installed these myself there because in the FGS systems we cannot install pneumatic systems that is why we use the electrical EK clamps. Okay, we've got electrical power and you can see the electric toggle lever clamp in operation driven by a 24 volt DC motor from mass production. And you can see the usual system integrated in an encapsulated housing and we still have the same connections which means that the clamp arm is the same as in the case of conventional clamps the connections on the front and rear and the well-known inductive T12 sensor systems are on the rear and instead of a piston rod we have installed a trapezoidal spindle which has the main advantage of self-locking irrespective of each position the clamp will be locked in each position also in the case of an emergency stop and the trapezoidal spindle is not the only benefit but also the lower energy consumption. We save up to 95% of the operating cost in comparison to a pneumatic clamping unit. But because we have not only an electric clamp in our product range but also the corresponding control system, we have installed all the components here. Here you can see the so-called motor island TMI8 which is now controlling a single clamp but with this unit up to 8 clamps might be driven and this is quite good if you are in a big plant and if you want to operate several clamps at the same time then you can use such a motor island to do this. This motor island has been designed for several bus systems we've got several versions of it and we also offer the corresponding supply module. In the supply module we fit in the 400 volts or 230 volts and then we feed 24 volts to the uh, motor island and then to the electric clamps. This is the control unit which has been installed as a test box here in order to drive the electric clamps and if we want to operate several clamps at the same time then we would have a cascading system within the motor island. If we want to operate eight clamps at the same time we would use cascades that is every 20 milliseconds which you cannot even see here um, because the um, clamps do not need a major initial power rise. And now I stop the system to demonstrate how to switch over. That is, I attach the motor plug to the next clamp and I do the same with the sensor cable and this is all and I can start it again and the clamps are already in operation, that is the next clamp is in operation, which means that we have a comprehensive concept here which is very advantageous for a startup. It's an easy plug and play plug and play system and the next clamp is then in operation. Mr. Schlitter is now here in person to answer some questions. Good morning everybody. And here we have the first questions. How do I adjust the opening angle of the clamp? Well, that's very easy if you want to adjust it. On the rear, uh, the lower sensor position can be changed and when we change the height of the sensor, we also adjust the opening angle. Could you also manually unlock the clamp? Yes, you can do that which means at the top we have direct access to the spindle and at the bottom we have access to the motor shaft um, then we can move the system thereby adjusting the opening angle and unlocking the unit. What is the cycle time of the clamps? The cycle time is the same as in the conventional clamps one second for opening, one second for closing. How about the energy you need? How many amps? 
Well, first we have a very brief power rise upon startup that is a high peak, but the continuous power is about 5 amps. It will depend on the size and also the work the clamp is doing. Is there a control concept for a single clamp? Yes, here you can see the control system for up to eight clamping units, but we also have control modules for a control cabinet or for a decentralized system that is the TDM or TSM systems. And do you need the Tynkas module or could you also use an external module? Well, we offer our systems because we have reversible operation, opening and closing, and we need a controller for this. And it's actually quite easy, as you could initially see. We have an easy plug and place system which allows you to swap clamps and then you can start it up again immediately.